Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. Today we're going to be diving into two unique devices that have gained a lot of interest among the Nintendo Switch users. I am of course talking about the MIG Flash Dumper and the MIG Switch. These devices are specifically designed for backing up games and enabling them to run directly off a micro SD card. Just to be clear, this video is for educational purposes only. It's all about giving you an overview of these devices, their features, and their legitimate uses. Now, let's get into it. Intro. Let's start with the MIG Flash Dumper. This compact device allows you to back up your Nintendo Switch games. Think of it as a way to create a digital copy of your game collection. Especially useful if you want to keep your physical collection in top condition. Or just simplify your gaming setup without having to lug around all those easy to lose Switch cartridges. The process is simple. Once connected to your PC, the MIG Dumper acts as a thumb drive that lets you make a copy of your games and save them to a microSD card or other compatible storage. This backup can then serve as a convenient alternative to swapping physical cartridges or, you know, if you prefer your collection a little more portable. The Dumper uses USB-C connectivity for fast game transfers, ensuring you're not waiting too long when creating your backups. In my experience, it was roughly about 1 minute to 45 seconds per gigabyte on the game file. The device is also pretty compact and portable, which means you can bring it along if you're on the go or want to help friends back up their games as well. Plus, with its user-friendly design, it's simple to use even if you're new to this kind of tech. It's as easy as one, two, switch. I mean three. It's easy as one, two, three. Now let's talk about its partner in cry science. This device works alongside the MIG dumper to let you play your backed up games directly off the micro SD card on the system. This setup is fantastic if you want the flexibility to access your games quickly without constantly swapping cartridges. With the MIG switch, you can load up your backed up games and switch between titles seamlessly without needing the physical cartridge. It's a convenient way to streamline your gaming setup, especially if you have a large game collection. It also supports various micro SD card sizes, so you can choose the storage capacity that works best for your library. Now for a brief overview of setting up these devices, first with the dumper, we're going to connect it to our PC utilizing a USB Type-C cable. Now this cable needs to be a data cable which you have to supply on your own even though the box says a cable is included it is not then we're going to simply plug in our game to the dumper and voila we're going to drag and drop our game file over to our storage for the mig switch we're going to simply insert our micro sd card with our backed up games and you'll be able to load and play them right from there no physical cartridges needed on the version 2 model there is a convenient button on top just press it to switch to the next game and hold it down to go back it's a simple way to jump between games seamlessly so why are these devices useful for starters, if you're someone who likes to keep their games organized digitally, the MIG Flash Dumper and the MIG Switch make it easy. Plus, by storing your games digitally, you reduce wear and tear on your physical cartridges and have faster access to your entire collection. A tip to consider is labeling your microSD cards or keeping a backup list of what's stored where this way, you can quickly find the game you want without confusion. Now, these two devices provide a powerful way to manage your Nintendo Switch games, offering convenience, portability, and a streamlined gaming experience. Just remember to use the tools responsibly, respecting Nintendo's policy on game usage. Now, there's an important warning you need to know about using backups with Nintendo Switch cartridges. Every game cartridge for the Nintendo Switch includes a unique certification file. Think of it as a digital fingerprint. When you play a game online, the certificate is sent to the Nintendo servers to verify the game's legitimacy. And here's where it gets a little tricky. Let's say you and a friend both want to play the same game. One person is using the original cartridge, and the other is using the backup copy. If both consoles connect to the internet at the same time, Nintendo servers will detect that the same certificate is being used on two systems. When that happens, Nintendo will automatically ban both consoles for duplicate use of the certificate file. This poses a real risk, especially in the pre-owned market. 
Imagine you buy a legitimate used copy of a game, but the original owner has already backed it up and continues to use it online. If both of you end up online with the same game, even by accident, there's a chance both consoles could end up banned. The chance is slim, but never zero. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech insights and tutorials. Be sure to check out our website at modernbroadcast.tv for more content, merch, and updates. And if you're into gaming, swing by my gaming channel, Modern Replay, where I post gameplay videos about twice a week. Let us know in the comments if there's any device you'd like us to cover next, and have a great week, everyone. Take care.